This video shows you how to enter data on the Miscellaneous tab of the Room Data window in CHVAC. Click the Miscellaneous tab. Each of the value inputs for the ventilation and infiltration inputs are grayed out because the method inputs are all set to default. Let's change the winter ventilation method to CFM per person. The drop-down help window for the value input includes a list of choices from ANSI ASHRAE Standard 62.1-2004. Now let's choose the CFM per person and CFM per square foot option for the winter ventilation method. Choosing that option made it so both of the value inputs are enabled now. Now let's change the winter ventilation method back to default to make it use the option we selected for the air handler. If you do override the ventilation inputs at the room level, the program uses the value you enter at the room level as that room's contribution to the total ventilation of the system. For example, suppose you had a project with two rooms and you had entered 5 CFM per person of winter ventilation for the air handler. Then, on the room data window, you entered an override value of 10 CFM per person in room 1 of your two rooms, but left things at the default value of 5 CFM per person for room 2. The program would then use 10 CFM per person for room 1's contribution to the system's ventilation, and 5 CFM per person for room 2's contribution to the system's ventilation. The total of the two rooms' contributions would then be used for the system. The total amount of ventilation air for the system would work out to be somewhere in between 5 and 10 CFM per person for the whole system. The occurrences input can be used in a couple of ways. If you have a room in a system that has an exact duplicate in the building, such as an office with only internal loads, you can enter a number greater than 1 in the occurrences input to account for the total load of those rooms. Or, if you have a room that you want to temporarily turn off so that it isn't included in the calculations, you can set the occurrences input to zero to exclude it from the calculations, but you can still turn that room back on later. The calculation option for the project can be overridden at both the air handler level and the room level. The summer and winter exhaust values are potentially used in a couple of ways in the calculations. First, if the sum of all the room exhaust values in the system exceeds the ventilation you've specified, the exhaust value takes over and it becomes the new outside air amount used for ventilation. The exhaust values are also used if you happen to have selected to use a heat recovery ventilator, HRV, for the system on the miscellaneous tab of the air handler data window. Both ventilation and exhaust values must be present for the HRV to have an effect. Let's enter 50 CFM of exhaust in this room for both summer and winter. You may enter a minimum cooling supply air for the room if needed. Similar to the equivalent input on air handler data, if the value you enter is less than the required CFM to cool the space, it will be ignored. Otherwise, an artificial load called either reheat or reserve will be added to the results in order to account for the extra air and to balance things out and not overcool the room. If there is a slab floor in the room, CHVAC needs to know how many feet of exposed perimeter there are in the room. This value is normally equal to the sum of all your external wall lengths, not including partitions. Since this room has one external wall with a length of 35 feet, enter 35 for the perimeter. If you have anything entered for slab perimeter, you must also specify the floor slab coefficient. This value is similar to a U value, except is based on how well heat is conducted per linear foot instead of per square foot. The input for the area of ceiling exposed to the plenum 
is only used for air handlers in which you've specified that a return air plenum is present as opposed to return air ductwork. In the video about using defaults, we've overridden the sensible safety factor to be 7% for this room. And for the heating safety factor, we also entered an override of 10% for the air handler. Remember that although there are default safety factor inputs on the general project data and air handler data windows, the calculations only apply safety factors at the room level for the supply side room loads. The runout duct properties inputs each have zero goes to values since they are overrides for the same set of inputs on the air handler data windows duct sizing tab. Thanks for watching.